Long before the first snow fell, there were two eggs. From those two eggs, two sisters hatched. They grew up loving each other with the wind under their wings and the horizon only one dive away. But destiny holds the strings to everyone's life and on a fateful day, the first sister fell sick. There was no cure, no herb and no help for her. Unable to suit her sister pain, the second sister decided to ask the Great Ice Dragon for help. Who dares to interrupt my sleep? The Great Ice Dragon asked. Please, the second sister said. I have to see my sister. She lies sick. I ask you to heal her. The Great Ice Dragon laughed. You as much, but what can you give me? The sister answered. A fragment of my soul, for a fragment of your power. So be it. The Great Ice Dragon growled, approving the trade. She accepted the gift and traveled back to heal her sister. But as soon as she spoke the healing words, she felt her soul be ripped apart. The first sister rose, healed, but the second sister lay down, death and destruction in the heart. For everything comes at a cost, and life costs the most. From this day on, dragons hatch able to breach ice, and sometimes, very, very rarely, to sacrifice their souls in exchange for a fragment of the Great Highest Dragon's powers. The trade with the Nightwing shows remarkable results. They have requested a meeting with your highness. I think we should arrange it. Very well, Lord Ferox. We will discuss this further. You should not have come. Did you not miss me at all, sister? I am back, and I'm here to claim what's mine. You know what I'm talking about, Queen Bane. My throne, my dragons, my kingdom. You are mistaken. You lost that right long ago. The throne is mine until I am defeated. You have proven once that you cannot do that. So leave this kingdom at once. We all know I cannot defeat you. True. But I can still destroy you. A pity. I would have liked to keep my mother's crown. But one cannot have everything. Nyx, no! <gasps> Are there any other concerns regarding my right to the throne? This was a terrible idea. I have never heard of a dragon catching their prey this way. You haven't, because I'll be the first. I call it ice fishing. There's one! I'm certainly not going to jump in and rescue you! Skua? Skua! Come out! That isn't funny anymore! <gasps> You don't look so good. You've been underwater way too long. Look what I caught! It's massive! So, you are alright? Good. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? No, of course not. This was such a foolish thing to do. Do you think you're a sea wing acting like that? You could have drowned! I caught the fish. Duh! You just never listen to me! Why can't you just be normal? I am perfectly normal. You act like a slush brain.
I catch, you cook. Don't you dare change the subject. We have this discussion every day. Listen to me for once. Oh, you want me to listen to you? How about you listen to me? Just for once? All day you complain about my ideas, but you never have a better one yourself. Ugh. Fine, catch your own fish tomorrow. Squaw! By royal decree of Queen Nux, may this now bless her. One member of each household shall be summoned by the Queen to serve in the royal army. I suppose you two are the only ones living here. Yes, but... Which of you is the eldest? I am. Don't be silly, Skua. You are only moments older. I'm ready, Captain. Skua, you are mad. You won't survive three days. Why? Because I can't survive three days on my own? Did it ever occur to you that I might like the idea of getting out of here? But... But... I'm the one who should go. She is the eldest. Right to the side. Let us go, Captain. <laughs>